What's up guys? It's Tom here from followfeelandtom.com and welcome to this Impa episode where I'm going to show you exactly how to use, uh, download, install and use Skype. Now I've just uninstalled Skype from my computer um, so I'm going to show you exactly the way to do it um, so that you can contact uh, people and more specifically contact us so you can start moving ahead in your business. Um, so nothing can stop you because I'm going to show you exactly how to get Skype. So the first thing you want to do, and this is take two by the way, because I had a bit of technical uh, difficulties, but just to start off, follow along with my clicks, go over to google.com, and the first thing you want to do is just type in Skype, S-K-Y-P-E, and the first thing that comes up is skype.com. You want to click on that, again, follow along with my clicks, and again, uh, your screens might look a little bit different to mine depending on when you're watching this video. They might have updated their website or, you know, I've got Windows 8. You might have like Windows 7 or something like that. Don't worry about that. Just follow along with the clicks, uh, along with the clicks as best you can. Uh, and if you have any trouble, post it in the comment section below and I will be glad to help you out. Uh, so just go up to the top here, downloads, and it'll come to this screen. What you want to do is just scroll down. Now, if you guys have Windows 8, this doesn't apply to people who don't have Windows 8, but if you do have Windows 8, it's your operating system, uh, do not click Get Skype Windows 8. Do not click that. Just scroll down, forget that. That's going to give you the app if you click that, and it's really not good. What you want to do is scroll down. Everybody just scroll down uh, and look for this. Windows for Desktop. Now, if you have uh, Microsoft Windows as your operating system, um, you want to hit Learn about learn about Skype for Windows desktop you want to click that if you have a Mac you want to learn about uh, you want to click learn about Skype for Mac if you got Mac you click this one if you got a PC you click this one so I'm gonna click learn about Skype for Windows desktop scroll down and I'm gonna hit this button here get Skype for Windows desktop bang <clears throat> now this will pop up and you just want to hit save file now what this is you're downloading the Skype installer or the Skype setup um, to your downloads folder. So up here you can see it says one minute remaining, it's downloading it. Once that's downloaded we're going to open open up our downloads folder and we're going to start installing Skype. Now if you don't know where your downloads folder is, uh, just follow along with my clicks but again my computer might look a bit different because I have Windows 8 which is fairly new because um, it came with this new computer that I have. If not, what you want to do is you hit the start button, go to my documents, uh, sorry I take that back, it could be in multiple ways. You hit the start button, go to my computer, and if there's a downloads folder you go there, um, and if it's not there you want to go to start my documents and then go to your downloads folder. It could be in two places, I mean it, do, it depends on the computer, so you kind of have to stuff around with it a little bit, but hopefully you can follow along with this video as best as possible. Okay, I've got four seconds left here. Downloads. A message should pop up here saying it's downloaded. Yeah, you can do it. Pop it, pop it, pop it. And once again, that is not responding. There we go. There it is. Bang. Downloads complete. So now what you want to do is go over to, your, like I said, my computer. Go to your downloads folder. It could be in my computer or my documents. So I'm just going to go there. And mine's right here, Downloads. Now I'm going to scroll down to the, it's in alphabetic order, so I'm going to go down to S. And what we have here is we have Skype Setup. Now I've downloaded it a couple of times because I had technical difficulties before with the video. Don't worry about that, you'll only have one there. Just hit Skype Setup. If it says Skype Setup Full, just hit that. So I'm just going to hit Skype Setup, the one I downloaded uh, right now, which is this one. And we just keep rolling, 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 keep rolling, rolling, rolling. And this should come up. Uh, what's this say? Not far to go now. You're just a few steps away from using Skype. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so pick your English. Pick your English. <laughs> pick your language. English. Run Skype when my computer starts. Uh, no. I'm going to tick that off because I don't want that to happen. Uh, and then I'm just going to kick I agree next. And I'm going to click continue. Continue. And now it's installing. You're installing Skype. So we'll just say this may take a few minutes. So I might just cut the video out here and come back when it has download uh, when it has installed. Okay. What's up, guys? I'm back. It has downloaded. It actually took two seconds. As soon as I hit the pause button, it downloaded. So this is the screen that should come up for you once it's downloaded. Now, keeping in mind, I already ha already have a Skype account, so you might have a different screen. 
So if I can just do, will this, this work? Let's see. I've already got a Skype account, so your screen might be a bit different. You might have to create a Skype account. So I can't do that right now because I already have one, but I'm going to try to run you through it best as I can. So if you just click, if I just go back to it, if you already have an account, which I'm assuming you don't because you're watching this video, you click sign in, you put your details in, you click sign in. If you don't, it might be a different screen or you can click create account. I think it runs you through it, but I'll just go to this just to make sure you're going to have the same similar things. You put your name in, your last name, email address, birthday, gender, country, city, language, mobile. You just fill this out. It's all standard stuff. How do you intend to use Skype, blah, blah, blah. Skype name. Just put your name or, you know, if your name is Bill, Bill Jones, put Bill Jones 12 or Bill Jones 13, something like that. And then, cre then you create a password for Skype. It's basic stuff. You can do that. Don't let anything stop you. Just keep filling it in and click I agree. Then you'll come to, hopefully you'll come to a screen like this and you'll have to sign in. So I'm going to put my password in. Matthew on two. Bing, bada, boom, bada, bang. And Skype should open. Stretching it out, stretching it out. Oh, it's 8.48 a.m. today, or right now. Okay, so I'm in Skype, and obviously I've already got a bunch of contacts because I've had Skype for a while. It's my Skype account. But this is what Skype looks like. So I'm just going to show you how to add us as a contact, because that's what you need to do. It might You might have a lot of profile settings. They're saying, set up your profile, which is your name, date, birth, all that sort of stuff. Just click through that. Pictures, blah, blah, blah. If you don't have a picture, doesn't matter. Just keep going. And again, if you have any questions, put it in the comment section below and I can help you out. So, now ha, ha, what you do is you go up here, up top left, it says add a contact. Search for people you know using their name, Skype name, or email. Now, if I just click on that, there'll be a little type box here. See me typing? And what you want to do is you want to type in T O N, you want to type in out my, my Skype name and my dad's Skype name, Phil. So, my Skype name is Tom underscore Matthew one and Oregon United States I don't know uh, I'm not coming up obviously because I'm on my Skype account but I'll come up and you'll see this picture I'll show you my picture see bang you got my picture that's what that's what my picture I got a green green shirt on and a hat uh, if you do the same thing just go back and you type in Philip dot Matthew that's dad Skype you look at that and dad shows up because I'm not and he's right there. If you click on Dad, that's his picture there. Big smiley face. Bang. From Australia. Sensational. I am back. Okay, guys, I am back. I have just removed Dad as a contact, so I can show you exactly how to add us as a contact. So, once again, you go up here, and you click Add Contact. I'm just going to type in Dad's, which is Philip dot Matthew. And if you forget these, like Philip dot Matthew and Tom underscore Matthew one, uh, it's all in the description. Our Skype names are in the description. So I'm just going to click on Phil Matthew here. His thing will pop up and I'm going to hit, it says Philip Matthew right here. Philip Matthew is not in your contacts. Add to contacts. I'm going to click that button. And, okay, well, that didn't work how I wanted it. I, th I think because he's already been my contact, it just added him. Um, but what usually happens is it will say, a message will pop up saying, do you want to add this person as a contact? And it will have a little message that you get to type. Make sure you put in that message that you actually don't just leave it as it is. Put in a message saying, Hi, hi Tom, hi Phil, who are you contacting? Uh, I found you on YouTube and I'd like to uh, like to talk about business or I'd like to say g'day, have a call. That's what you want to do. And then you hit add contact. But that's it, guys. Um, that's how you talk to us. Once you're, on a, once you're on a contact that says we're online or we're offline or whatever, you can type in the chat box like that, blah, 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 blah. blah. And you can also call us if you have a mic. But that's essentially how you do it. That's how you install Skype and and use Skype. That's how you type messages. So you might want to say, uh, well, once you send that first contact request saying, oh, I found you on YouTube, I'd love to chat, then we will contact you back. So that's it, guys. That's how you download and install Skype. I hope that was helpful. Uh, really, uh, absolutely get in touch with us because we can absolutely help you move forward in your business. And if you have any questions regarding downloading Skype or installing Skype or using Skype, put them in the comment section below and I'll absolutely be happy to help you out 100%. Um, you need to get Skype because it is, 
It's a it's the way you communicate on uh, the internet nowadays. So that's it. Like, comment, rate, subscribe. Peace out, and I will see you in another video. Peace. Well, I hope you got something out of that. Now, the three ways to connect with us. As you can see, there's a subscribe button here. Click on that subscribe button now and get access to our daily videos automatically every day. On the left, you can see a couple of videos there, but on the bottom is Skype. And that's basically how you download, how you use Skype, and how you connect with us on Skype, which is really fantastic. Now, there's a link below. And if you want to learn how to build a sustainable, scalable online business, click on that link below. So, hope you got something out of that. See you on the next video. Bye.